December 30th, 1968, Monday, Coochie, Vietnam. Hello, everybody back in Clifton. This is Alan once again, commenting on a few letters that I received today or over the past couple of days and telling you about a few things that happened to me the past couple of days, and there were quite a few. Well, let me first comment on Mother's letter. I was very happy to read that nice little story about Marcy and the tape recorder. It was very cute about her when she left waving bye-bye in town to the tape recorder. Uh, I was very bad to hear it about the first not bad, I was dissatisfied with myself about the second tape that you received being very soft. I hope the third and fourth ones came out a little bit better, and I'm sure that you would tell me that in the next uh, tape or letter that you send me if you received it. Uh, yesterday, after working consistently, uh, we finally got a half day off, and uh, I was able to get a few things done that I wanted to. In your letter also, uh, you said that you were spent working on a goodie box. I wonder what's in it. I just can't wait to receive it. Uh, I'm glad to see that uh, you at least have one extra day off a week now, and that uh, I'm sure that one day you'll use working around the house, cleaning it, straightening up, and relaxing a little bit if you can. It sure is good to have a few days off, I guess. And I don't think I'll be able to make it to uh, Aunt Mary and Uncle Mickey's wedding, 25th wedding anniversary there on the 6th of October, I believe it is. And at the end of the month, time will be changing again to Eastern Standard Time. Over here, Instead of being 12 hours ahead of you, we will then be 13 hours ahead of you. 13 hours, a long time. I received a uh, package from Joey and Millie last week, and it was a big surprise to me because uh, I didn't even expect a letter or a... Never mind a package from them, but uh, inside the package was salami, tea, crackers, and some polar strawberries. Everything held up very fine except for the crackers. They weren't packed properly, and therefore they moisture got to them and spoiled. She only sent them in the uh, wrapper that it came in, and she just put it in a box, and evidently uh, she didn't think it would spoil, but it did in the five days that it took to get here. She also wrote me and told me about Timmy Kyle, pulled up for as did Richard Hoos in my last tape. I think I told you about it. And she sent me a, the, the newspaper clippings from it and also about Mickey's retirement from the police force. One thing that was in that article uh, was Billy Heitman's, re not retirement, but resignation. I was very surprised to hear about that and uh, nobody wrote or told me about it. And it came as a little bit of a shock to me. Now, let's see, I've got a letter from here from Diane Broda, the girl that I graduated high school with, and she asked you for my address by, after I came to Vietnam. She said that uh, she plans to go on a trip to Miami, and before, just before she left, she went to New York City. She went to the new Madison Square Garden. She said it was very nice, and she saw a holiday on ice. She got cut-rate tickets from Hoffman and LaRoche where she works. Her uncle, Walter Young, is executive vice president of our company. And uh, she went and told me that he had triplets, so three boys. This is one thing that I just didn't know, and uh, she said that he does bring them to work every once in a while. But due to the fact that my uh, office was on the second floor, uh, I didn't see them because I usually don't go down to the main floor of it. Who wants to be with the big shots anyway? But she writes that they're very nice, lovable kids. I'm sure they are. Because they're also a riot to be with. They're all over the place. She sent me also a uh, 
postcards, picture postcards from Miami Beach, Florida, where she is taking a two-week vacation with her, one of her friends. She writes that it's very nice down there, and uh, she likes taking a vacation at the end of the year because there's not so many people down there, and so on. I also received a letter from Ray Moore, or a guy who lives just down the street on Ackerman Avenue. And he writes that everything is okay, and that he's looking forward to me coming back to officiate some basketball games uh, when I get back in 1969. Ray, incidentally, was the president of our basketball officials league. I received a uh, letter from Dell. Uh, and in it came a stamp book, and I was very happy to receive it. In my spare time, I have come through it and enjoy reading the interesting articles that are in there about particular stamps. This way, it's a kind of a way in which you can uh, actually learn your history by reading and looking at the stamps. You see a certain stamp, you kind of remember what it stood for in the book, and you remember your history just a little bit easier that way. I got a letter from Lee Skirka, the girl that I worked with uh, in the advertising department, later on in technical publications. Um, she was a typist there. She's married. She lives in Clifton. She has uh, two boys and one girl. One boy is playing basketball for Clifton High School, and she hopes that in hopes and prays that he will, he will start this year. He's one of those women that likes to go see her boy play basketball, baseball, whatever he does. She also said that a lot of girls have left since I was last at Harvard to scale. And uh, otherwise, a lot of them say Harvard to scale is holding up pretty well. I also received a uh, letter from a friend of mine, Gregory Barkley. He's a generator operator based in Fort Worth, Texas. He still claims that he's very busy there, and uh, his weekends are absorbed lately in guard duty. He should have guard duty two times a week, like we do over here. His one half brother just got back from Vietnam, and so it was very good to hear from him too. Uh, his mother and father died in an automobile accident. And he, I don't know whether he was or adopted or what. I'm not too sure about that one half brother, but it's what he calls him. So. Then he also writes that he broke up with his girlfriend, the one, one that moved from New Jersey to California. But anyway, he found another one, and he like, seems to like her a lot, and he hopes to spend uh, Christmas holidays with him. I was happy to receive a letter from Hank Kulik the other day. Oh, he, he writes that he was impressed by my letter, and he hopes that everything continues to go well for me. His baseball team that he coached this past season uh, won the Little League Championship. His son, Todd, plays on them, and he was very happy about that. He wrote and told me who the new coaches of the BNC Aluminum are. I don't really know any of them, so I really can't comment on that. And he said he hasn't seen the practices either because he went to see the Junior Mustangs play. That's where his son is now playing on the junior Mustang, and he doesn't know how they look. He goes down to the junior Mustang games, and uh, from what from his letter writes, is that they, the boys that we coached last year in BNC seem to be doing pretty well. We have uh, quite a few boys starting on the first team. His son, Todd, is a big, strong boy. He plays center. And we have a quarterback by the name of Steve uh, Michael Judah. Uh, he was our quarterback last year. He was a very good boy, rough, tough kid. And then we had uh, Gregory Ziff, 
who is a fullback on there, and he was our fullback last year, too. Uh, he, his brother was one of the coaches last year, and his brother is also a policeman in Clifton. Uh, also, we have a kid by the name of Greg Plavitzko, who was our left halfback for the right team last year, and now is the starter for the Junior Mustangs. And also, uh, Kyle Herzarski, uh, he is the right halfback starting there, and uh, he's from Dayton Avenue. Then we have this one kid, Alan Lazowski. Wow, this kid ought to be some rough, tough ball player when he grows up. Nice, strong kid, ambition. I think, honestly, he was the strongest kid on the whole team last year. Uh, he's got desire. And that's what you want to see in a uh, good young ball player. Also, we've got Bobby Campani as defensive linebacker, and he was a pretty good boy. And that's pretty good for a first string, wouldn't you say? The, there were three other teams in our league last year, and we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven starters out of, I guess, possible 15 guys over here that they have on a first team. So it's not too bad of representation for one of uh, our old BNC aluminum team. Also, we have some uh, guys on the uh, second team. They Bob David Sunday, defensive back, good boy. Although sometimes in the game I think he gets a little bit afraid. Chuck Bankhart, they got him at uh, defensive back, too. Now, this I can't understand. He's a big, slow kid, but he's strong. He played a good end for me, and I was a little bit disappointed that uh, they threw him back into the backfield, but that's the way things go. The same thing with that big kid, Alan Lazowski. Wow, what an end he made. But I guess they need him on the line, too, as a right tackle. He wrote that uh, the Junior Mustangs beat Dumont, score of 53 to nothing. I don't know where Dumont is. I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, he was kind of disappointed in uh, a few of the guys like uh, Kyle, Kazlitsko, Tanghar, and Sunday. He said uh, they didn't do too well, even though it was they ruined the Dumont team. Uh, he doesn't know whether it's no guts, brains, or what. He wrote, you know, I thought that was very funny. Bobby might be interested in this one over here. He writes that uh, Gene Ross, who was the president of the Eastern Division Baseball, Basketball, and Football League, uh, is leaving. He's going to Tom's River to live. And everybody from the Little League, football, basketball, and baseball had a beefsteak dinner for him at Domion's, and it should have been a nice affair. Uh, also, Gene got together with a few of the other Eastern Division committee men, and uh, when I get out of the Army, they made it very clear that although the other coaches have it at the present time, when I get back, I will be head coach, and time will only tell whether or not I will take that position or not. Uh, I asked him about one coach that uh, I think he played for uh, Georgia Tech, our old coach, Ralph Figueroa. Ralph moved to uh, Wayne, and Hank says he hasn't seen him since the uh, awards that they had January 10th, six days after I landed in this lousy army. He said that he will officiate the Clifton Cafe game this year, and they always claim that he's a bad ref, he's not good, this and that, because of some of the plays that he calls, but he says um, he always winds up getting the tilt. He doesn't know. Even though what he writes, he says, uh, even though he's blind, he always gets the tilt. Who's nuts? He also bought a new Thunderbird, air conditioning, power steering, and so on. Uh, 
and he tells me when I get home, I should come over to his house and be sure to take get a ride in the new car. Uh, by then, it'll be almost a year and a half old, and <laughs> it won't be too new anymore. He also writes that he has no word on when the article in Rook Magazine will be coming out, so I guess we'll just have to hang loose on this one and just wait until it does come out. Uh, yesterday, I received five letters, two from Marsha. Uh, I haven't rec didn't receive one from her in almost two weeks, and I was wondering, well, maybe she wasn't feeling good, and but that wasn't the reason. It was just that she was down the seashore, and she forgot to mail one of the letters, so she mailed two of them at one time. I was glad to hear that she had very good weather down there. Uh, it's not like the weather over here. It's been pouring cats and dogs after 6 o'clock down here. Uh, Wright said it was very good and she hated to leave down there. She said that she went over your house and Dolores' house and she had a very good time. And good news too also that uh, Warren Brunkar is not going to sell her bungalow down Lake of Patcon. She's glad she isn't because uh, we had a lot of fun down there and it had a lot of sentimental meaning to it. She also writes that Marcy is crazy about Daddy. And for some reason, she goes nuts whenever she sees him. And in Daddy's eyes, she writes, uh, she can do no wrong. <laughs> Wait until she gets older. <laughs> she also wrote a little bit on the tape place about hearing me and being surprised. Uh, Dolores sent me another letter yesterday. And on it, she put the new Father Marquette Explorer stamp on it. Very colorful stamp. And she also writes that she got a clay block on it. Stamp is like a greenish black stamp. And she put it on red stationery, and it really did come out nice. Uh, she writes that when Morris Schertz came over her house, Morris naturally talked to Red Streak, and she just couldn't really understand it too well, but Morris uh, uh, really talks like crazy. Well, I can see the tape is starting to run out, so I'll start again on side two. Okay, I'm thinking I'm hoping in all my Agnes. Okay, side two. Here we go again. Okay, I was just talking about the Lord's letter. And she also writes that she gets no city water. Hmm. And that she always has to borrow from the lady next door. I guess that's the lady with three boys. What a blast we have with those kids at Ricky and Scotty's birthday party. She also writes the boys, Ricky and Scotty, are going to religious classes and that this is Scotty's first year. And that they enjoy going to it and looking forward to it. She also writes that they like school, which I am very happy to hear. And they seem both very enthusiastic to go every day and learn. She also writes, if I can send home things, and I certainly can. By the way, if you need anything from home, just tell me what you want. I'm still looking for a griddle, I believe it is. If they ever get one over here, I'll be sure to buy one. Mr. Sable don't want it. You can always give it away as a uh, present for some kind of occasion. I don't know. I myself plan to buy a motion picture camera, a good still camera, a projector, a good phonograph for my room, and a good stereo tape for myself. Uh, these are things I would like to have, and who knows if I ever do get married, I'd like to take these things along with me and not leave them uh, on Ackerman Avenue. <laughs> Personal things, I guess you can say they are. 
but uh, anything that you want, just tell me, and I'll see if I can get it at a cut rate here. Oh, yes, before I forget, uh, let me wish Bobby, Bobby a very happy birthday. I imagine this tape might come one or two days late since his birthday, I believe, is the 3rd, and it is September the 30th today. So happy birthday there, Bobby, and uh, I hope to see you on your next. Dolores also writes that her washer broke down and that she is having a very hard time uh, ringing up her clothes. She has to put them outside to dry, and she's just thankful that New Jersey is having beautiful weather. Uh, Steve Duda writes me a very ni- wrote me a very nice letter yesterday too. He told me that he has not seen Clifton High School practice yet football, but he understands that they should have a very good team this year. His brother, Frankie, I coached him last year in football. He's now the junior Mustang quarterback. And he wrote, he writes that in two games, uh, they have a total of 103 points on offense, and their defense only gave up a total of zero, which is excellent. So that's a hundred, one and a half points per game. You really can't beat that. Uh, seemed like it was uh, we're missing a good season there. And Junior's friend Johnny D. Sienna, or Johnny D. as more people know him, is president of the league, the Junior Mustang League. And Johnny D. Sienna said that that is the best team he has seen come out of the Junior Mustangs that started, and they really do expect it, to, expect it to go a long way. He claims that the summer league that uh, the Recreation Department sponsored this year was very good, and that they have a lot of good action down there at the park lately in basketball. Also that uh, they had city officials officiating the game, so it looks like I lost out on some money again this summer by not officiating the game. He also went to see the Hall of Fame, and he claimed that that was very interesting. I believe the Hall of Fame is somewhere in New York State. Uh, let's see. He also wrote me uh, about the little trouble that uh, Hank Kulik got himself into at the Givenon Corporation there on uh, Delawana Avenue. I was very surprised and a little bit of a little bit hurt to read about it, and I really feel sorry for uh, kids and his wife Penny. Really a nice family. I'm very surprised about that whole situation. So is life, I guess. What can you do? I also received a letter from one of my nine-year-old writers, Deborah Stock. She is the niece of one of the secretaries that I worked with, Janet Howe Richardson Scale. She writes a very cute letter in uh, baby writing, I guess you can say, really. However, uh, how a nine-year-old could write. It's very interesting. She tells me how she goes and helps the man. Little things like that. She appreciates what the guys over here are doing. And I really do appreciate her letters. I write her back, and I'm sure she gets the skill to get an answer as I do. She said she learns a lot in school, and she likes going to school to learn things. Yesterday we got paid. I paid uh, about $200. I plan to hold on to it for a little while and don't plan to make a money order for about two weeks because I want to see if there's anything nice around here that I can buy. Send it home, you never can tell, but I don't want to hold on to it any longer than that. Went to church yesterday to evacuation hospital there. You'd be surprised at the number of guys that go to church over here in communion since we have a general absolution. Uh, and 
not like a basic training or AIT where uh, the Catholic guys just stand there and just can't go to church over here. They do go. Uh, I, up until this afternoon, I was supposed to move out to a field site in Tonsonu Air Force Base, which was would be like heaven compared to this place. It's just like being in the States, hot showers and everything compared to the cold showers we had over here. And I understand the food out there is really good too. But uh, the CEO of the company decided that they have enough men, or two men would be enough to go down there. So naturally, being the lowest ranking man again, I got juiced out of it. So uh, I'll stay around here. Uh, with a little luck, I might be filling in for the company clerk who's going on a week's R&R this coming month in about 12 days. And if I do a good job, maybe I might take over his place permanently when he leaves in about the middle of November. Time will only tell him that. At the present time, I'm still working out at the motor pool, and it's really not that bad. I have got to know the guys. They don't expect me to know too much mechanically, so it's, all in all, it's really, it's really not that bad. Come in a few minutes on anime's letters. The last one, she really gave me hell for uh, making a pretty miserable tape. I hope that this one comes out a little bit better, and so have the previous ones. I believe this is the fifth tape I'm sending you, so at least, I hope at least three out of five came out pretty good. Uh, she really did lay it on me there uh, for making a pretty bad tape. Uh, it looks like. Like she says, it looks like uh, Detroit and St. Louis will be playing. I kind of hope St. Louis wins again, although uh, Detroit has a pretty good chance, too. She also says, uh, she also sent a lot of football clippings, and these I'm very happy to receive. Uh, Saturday, this past Saturday, should have been the first game, I understand, against uh Kennedy High School. I sure hope Clifton does uh, pretty good. Uh, I hope they have a decent season this year and go about at least seven wins and two losses, I hope. She also writes that she's going to uh, a football game and that uh, her Mr. and Mrs. Walsh are also going to a football game, Notre Dame, I believe. She also says that she got one of her televisions fixed and plans to get another television and her stereo fixed. And that she was looking at new cars. Doesn't intend to buy any, but doesn't hurt to uh, look a little bit at them either. And if she can get a good price on one of the uh, new 68 models that uh, are left over. She might buy one, but uh, I doubt it. I also received a letter today. Today I got the mail about a half hour ago. Today I got one letter. Big difference between five and one, but that's the way it goes. One day you get a heck of a lot of letters. The next day you may get one, two, or sometimes none, but uh, when they do come in bulk, you really appreciate them. This one's from Richie Lasky. He lives on East 8th Street in Clifton. And he's stationed in Long Bend, and he's a radio man there, and before he left, I wrote him a little letter and told him what to bring, and he thanks me for that, because uh, when I left, I really didn't know what to bring. And I told him to bring civilian clothes and shoes and all that stuff, and uh, he did, and he was very happy that uh, I told him that. Uh, he also writes that uh, his wife is expecting a baby, and that he's very nervous about it, but uh, he left out what month it is, uh, what, what month she, she's expecting the baby, and so I really couldn't tell you that, but uh, he's very nervous, and he claims he's got a box of cigars hidden in his locker so that he can start handling them off, and then he gets good news. Uh, let's see what else is Weather is hot there, and you're getting used to it, used to it, uh, more used to it. Uh, he plans to go to on 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 to Hawaii to see his wife and his new baby, and this I'm sure he will appreciate immensely. Uh, he tells me to 
I have a good time, and that's where I am at, am at the present time intending to go. And he hopes to hear from a few other guys from down the park, like Mike Lasik and Rob, Robert Suler in the near future. Uh, Miriam might be interested to know I just played on the radio over here. It's uh, one of the new songs, I guess, that uh, she sent me, the one that goes, Every time I move to love you, da 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 it's a very cute song, and uh, I didn't know what it was at the first first couple of times I heard it, but after I play, played the tape about four or five times, it kind of grew on me very quickly, and I liked it a lot. And it just started to play before, and I had to shut off the tape and listen to it on the radio. I couldn't believe it. I imagine that song got pretty far back in the States, and I appreciate her sending the tape and uh, looking forward to another one to be sent to me in the near future. Uh, I think there were one or other, one or two other brand new songs on the tape also, and I'd like to thank Anime, Roman, and Marianne for making the tape. Uh, as far as making any special kind of songs, if Marianne would write a little list, I might be able to, pick, to uh, I might be able to pick from them a little bit easier. Aside from that, uh, any songs that she knows I would like, just put them on there. I'll be happy to hear some of them. I really can't think of too many right now, but I would like to uh, get one or two more tapes at least while I'm over here so I can have a little bit of a variety. Uh, yesterday being Sunday, we only worked a half a day, and the other half day we were given free time. In this period of time, uh, I, naturally, I went to church, as I stated, and uh, uh, I wrote a few letters, caught up on a few letters, and I also took a few pictures on a Polaroid ca uh, camera of my friend. Uh, there's one colored picture in there. The reason why I, uh, that is because he had a few colored pictures in there, and he wants to use them up before I gave him a black and white film. I had it sitting in there for quite a while, and I finally decided to use it. Well, I hope you enjoy the pictures. Uh, they seem to have come out pretty well, and the next time I'll probably take another set of colored pictures myself and send them back to you in another couple of weeks, maybe a month or two. They really did come out well. Uh, we got paid the other day, yeah, Sunday too, and like I stated, I'll hold on to the money for another two weeks and don't expect a money order until about two weeks after he gets his paid. If I can't find anything to buy by then, by then I'll just send the money back to the world and to you. Uh, the weather around here for the past uh, couple of weeks has been pretty hot and humid and it starts pouring like crazy about six o'clock in the evening and then stop uh, until about two o'clock uh, in the morning. And when you have guard duty out on the perimeter, you get a little bit wet. But they give you the next morning off from seven up to twelve so that you can catch up on a little bit of sleep. And that is greatly appreciated, as you know. I still haven't heard from uh, Ricky Palumbo, the guy that I came in the Army with. Uh, I hope he got my letter, or uh, at least his parents got my letter, and I hope he will write, or maybe he, he, he might surprise me sometime and come be bopping down here to visit me. As far as Jerry Makita goes, we'll just have to wait and see when and where he winds up going. Uh, I guess by now he's a sergeant in the Army going to that instant NCO school. <laughs> I don't know, some guys will do anything. Well. It looks like the tape is running out again, and uh, it looks like I spent most of the time just talking about what people wrote me and commenting on them, but uh, there's really not that much to talk about over here. The, the same thing day in, day out. You get up, go down the motor, back, breathe, study your algebra, watch television, write letters, and almost everybody seems to be doing the same thing that I do. So. 
that's about it for tonight. And until my next tape, which I will probably try to make again on Thursday or Friday, uh, God love you, God keep you all, and I hope to hear from you again soon. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm open, and oh my Agnes. <laughs> I know you got a kick out of that, too. Right? That is pretty funny. And uh, Marcy, Marcy, hello, how are you? Hello, Marcy. See if she can understand this at the end. Uh, she might get a little kick out of it. Do you know who this is, Marcy? This is Alan. I love you. Do you love me? How are you, Marcy? You like Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs>